Today we're going to do a simple wire wrap on a, a little glass bottle and make it into a pendant. This wrap has two bales that sit opposite each other and they hang from the chain on each side. The glass bottle can actually spin inside but the wire is tight enough that it can't come out the bottom. So you can see it's got a bale on each side and we've just attached a jump ring and a chain. I've got these cute little glass bottles here. They're about two centimeters tall and 1.5 centimeters wide. They've got a little cork there and they also have a little groove around just the lip that the wire wrap is going to sit in. For this wrap here, we use about 10 inches of our 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. We are just going to start by making one of the bales. So with our round nose pliers, we just want to wrap it around the very tip there, the smallest part, because I want quite small bales. So we just leave the first part of the wire straight and then just start wrapping it around the round nose pliers. We're wrapping it around two times. And then with that little tail that we left straight at the end, we're just going to bring that around the wire and crimp it down nice and tight so that will secure our bale. That's so quite a small little bottle and so I want these bales to be quite small to be proportioned with the size of the bottle. Just making sure your wire's crimped in all nice and tight. Then we can check our loops as well, just make sure they're sitting nicely and together and straight. Then we're going to grab our bottle and you can see this little groove here or lip, that's where the wire is going to sit and it's going to be held in place in that little lip there. So we're just going to bend the wire around inside this groove. And I just bend the bale out straight. Then I just bend my wire around until it's sitting opposite that first bale. Then with my fingernail, I just bend it on the opposite part so I know where I can put my bale. Then we're going to work on the second bale. So you can just take your wire off the bottle now. I just leave a couple of mil there, right at the start of the bend, where we can wrap around. And then I'm just going to grab it with our little round nose pliers again, making sure you're doing it right at the end of your pliers so it's gonna be a really nice small loop. And then we just start to work our wire around the pliers there. Again, just working it around to form two loops. Then we just hold on to the bale there with our pliers and we're just going to bring the wire around the couple of millimetres that we left at the bottom of the bale area. Best to grab it on the top, not the side, like I've done there. Just tidying up the bale there, making sure your loops are staying together. It's one of the great things about wire is that you can always work with it and move it back into place or out of place. It's generally quite easy to work with it. Okay, so we've wrapped that wire around the bottom of the bale and just placing the wire onto your little glass bottle again so that you can see how it's sitting. Hopefully your bales are directly opposite. Then when it's sitting in the groove there, you can bring your wire around the other side of the groove to meet up with the first bale and then wrap it around that bale as well to secure it in place. Holding it all nice and tight there and just do one full loop around, coming out that same side. Then we are just wrapping it around through the groove again to the other bale and doing another full loop around the bottom of the bale. 
then heading down the groove again. So you should have two wraps of wire on each side, like between each bale. And when the wire meets up with the other bale, just wrap it around again. And then we snip that tail off and then crimp it down nice and tight. It should be quite even looking with, with the two bales opposite each other and two wires going down the groove on each side. You can work with your wires a little bit now just to even them up, make sure they're all sitting nicely. Then we're going to just pop our chain on. So I've got some jump rings here. These are six millimeter jump rings. And I just open them sideways with my pliers. And pop it on one bale and then onto the chain. So it's just a normal chain, but I've cut it in the middle. And then we can do the same with the other jump ring on the other side. Onto the chain and then onto the other side. Now you can pop whatever you like inside your little bottle and enjoy wearing it. And there's your simple wire wrapped glass bottle pendant.